no Chantel, what you're smelling is yourself. And probably the cheese curds that are still stuck in the little crevices that you don't clean. Yes, that's nasty. Why would you want to become a human fridge-sized dog when you use the restroom? We're gonna go look for a poop area. I mean, pee. <laughs> fucking crab and it's probably not fresh because it was cooked it wasn't i swear if it's not fresh i'm going back watch i swear to god mandy go eat a fat dick seriously hello guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new my name is charlie please consider subbing before you exit this video as i mentioned before i will be leaning into a bit of commentary alongside my reactions as well so last night foodie beauty chantelle marie big buttery meat decided to go on a long drive to provide content for her audience if you're com just coming in or you're wondering i'm not looking at the chat right now because obvious reasons i actually um, ever since I was young and I was in a pretty bad accident, rollover accident, my dad was driving and he s made the mistake for a split second, split fraction of a second. He looked, he looked at the radio to change the station and we like flipped over. And so I really try hard not to, you know, look at anything while I'm driving. So she tries to not look at anything while she's driving. Later on in the stream, you'll see that's untrue because she clearly is responding to comments in the live stream while her car is in motion. So let's not pretend that past events, unfortunate events, had any effect on your future choices, not only for yourself, but the lives of others. There's like nowhere to go to the bathroom. What if I have to go to the bathroom? I'm gonna have to find somewhere dark and scary and go. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that after, guys. After Tim Hortons, because I really gotta pee really bad. And it doesn't help, like... You know what I mean? Like, I had that smoothie. Oh my gosh. I'm about to break that with a nice coffee and maybe a brownie. <laughs> I want something desserty, like, just like to go with my coffee, you know? Hold on. Okay. It smells bad here. Ooh, it smells like rotten American cheese slices. No, Chantel, what you're smelling is yourself. And probably the cheese curds that are still stuck in the little crevices that you don't clean on a daily basis. Now you will notice that her attitude starts to change as the live stream goes on. And I believe it's because this was fully intended to be a binge. But as she continued to eat, she wasn't feeling satiated. She wasn't feeling that void. She wasn't feeling what she wanted to feel during this drive, during this binge. And her self-entitlement and greed starts to really, really help Chantel show her ass. Hi, Hi. Um, can I have a large um, caramel iced coffee with lots of ice? Okay. Is that everything? Um, actually, do you have any um, croissants? Yes, if you want regular or hazelnut. Oh, um, can I get, are they big or small? Uh, they're, they're pretty big. Okay, <laughs> I'll just get a regular, please. And that's everything? Yeah, that's it. You guys can trust and believe I wanted to get two double filet of fish I'm friggin' starving. I'm like a bottomless pit. <sighs> Maybe I should go park where the, uh, okay, I'm gonna go park where the, where I'm gonna have to squat in a bush. That way I'm right near the bush. <laughs> I agree. She is a bottomless, dirty pit. One that made the claim that she doesn't eat 4,000 calories a day. One that made a claim that she would be the first mukbanger to lose weight while monetizing her addiction, which is laughable that she even believes that's even achievable. And once again, she's not only going to use the restroom on live, but also outdoors. And she already had toilet paper in her car ready to go, which is definitely weird and pathetic let's say society 
passed a law where you're allowed to squat and go to the bathroom as long as you pick it up like you would with a dog. And you hide your genitals as best as you can. <laughs> would that gross you guys out? Yes, that's nasty. Why would you want to become a human, fridge-sized dog when you use the restroom? <laughs> I, I don't think I would care. I don't know if I would do it, though. Like, I don't know. I'm one of those people that can't go on if people are watching me. We're going to go look for a poop area. I mean, pee. <laughs> Freudian slip. I'd like to remind everyone this is a 36-year-old woman. I know she looks about 20 years her senior, but she's 36 years old. Well, you couldn't see me pee, I hope. No, I came all the way out to give you guys content. <laughs> I farted when I peed. <laughs> Joe! <laughs> he did, he came right in my car. Uh. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. I'll put my lights on. I'm driving over my pee. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, for those of you freaking out, you need to know that these are the rules. I just looked them up, okay? No gatherings of more than five people. Social distance, six feet. Or is that two meters or whatever? Um, what else was there? If you've come back from traveling, you have to quarantine. You cannot stop for groceries. You cannot go out for fresh air. Uh, other stuff like that. I'm not even going out in public right now. I'm literally in my car. My car. My sanitized car. And this is where I get irritated. As most of you know, I live in the state of Florida. Florida is one of the most irresponsible states that has responded to this virus. And there's a lot that I was able to do in the last two weeks that I chose not to. I had the ability to self-isolate and I did. So her listing these guidelines that she is following doesn't mean the guidelines were properly put in place in a timely manner. It doesn't mean her area is doing everything that they can be doing during this time. I don't know much about what was put in place in her area, but based on what was put in place in my area, I realized I had to take the initiative to do the right thing and do what was in my power. That's what she doesn't get. I don't know the rules up there. I don't know the guidelines. I don't know what she can't and cannot be doing for sure, but I know she could be doing way more than what she's been doing. Constantly going to the grocery store, ordering in, going out to drive throughs is not a way that you play your part in what's going on. This is not just about Chantel, this is not just about myself. There is a world that is on pause right now. And we're trying to get on the other side of this thing, not even knowing what's waiting for us on the other side of this. This is why so many people are angry at Chantel. She's a public figure who does have influence. And this is what she chooses to broadcast to her audience. I don't know why they're keeping fast food joints open, I guess. You know, because, like, you'd think they wouldn't be essential. But I guess maybe because not everybody's in the shape to cook. Like, I do cook, but sometimes I don't freaking feel like it, you know? <laughs> and plus, I'm footy beauty. <laughs> so, whether you haters don't like, like it or not, like... When I'm doing food videos on my channel, I have to try to keep the content. That's like my job, you know? So, yeah. So this woman's job is to go out in public, drive around, and live stream her binge that looks like it was about 3,000 calories. That's her job. Define job. I clearly don't speak the same language as someone who is this selfish, this entitled, this greedy, and this pathetic. So I would like a good translation, a good definition of how this, what she did this night, was her job. The only thing she possibly accomplished that night is feeding her addiction some more, adding a fifth chin to the one she has, and possibly spreading this virus even further than it needed to be. That's the job she accomplished that night. I think they're open. 
I'm beezing. I'm beezing. I don't want to hear it. Why is there a car? Why does he have to park right here? Look. It's not even a parking spot. What the fuck? Oh, there's no one in the car. Okay. I don't like people hearing me order. <laughs> Hi. Um, can I have a filet of fish meal? A what? A uh, number filet de poisson. The drink? Um, Fruitopia strawberry. That's it? And can I get extra sauce on it? A what? Extra sauce. Extra sauce, that's it? Yeah. Check out a note. I don't like coming here. Like, fuck off, buddy. <laughs> Imagine being this pathetic and this entitled. A 36-year-old woman who is outgrowing her car by the day is upset that she thought someone else was in their car who would have been an earshot away of hearing her gluttony, hearing her order her binge. Imagine, and then being upset that the man who is putting his life on the line so she can overfeed herself can't hear what she's saying because most people can't make out what she's saying because half the time she's trying to catch her breath from doing absolutely nothing. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you. He didn't even say anything. He's such a fucking crab. And it's probably not fresh because it was cooked. It wasn't. I swear if it's not fresh, I'm going back. Watch. I swear to God. I'm going to bitch. And I'll be like. Hold on. I'm going to check right now. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. The fries are cold. Kind of. Wait. Is it fresh? Oh, it feels hot. Okay. Okay, it's super fresh. <laughs> Chantel thinking that a filet of fish is fresh is as laughable as her thinking she's going to be losing weight with these mukbangs. Like, kiss my big ass. 890 people watching this. You people really have nothing better to do. <laughs> Sometimes I watch things and I'm like, why am I watching this? Oh shit. Hand sanitizer. Fuck sakes. I never. <laughs> I forgot! I didn't touch the pay thing. I just put my card. <laughs> when you're quarantined, there's nothing to do. That's true, eh? They, can't, they didn't put the cheese on right. <laughs> Very messy. <laughs> oh my god. I asked for extra sauce. Why did I do that? Mandy, go eat a Fat dick, seriously. <laughs> You're welcome. Ugh. Watch tomorrow. Foodie beauty. Telling concerned citizens during the COVID-19 epidemic to go eat a fat dick. More like foodie beauty, one of the very few people whose life is not yet impacted by this, just simply inconvenience, can't bother to continue to do what she's been doing for months, which is mostly staying in the house. What I find so interesting about this, Foodie Beauty didn't do this, at least the live streams, that often in the past, where she's constantly leaving the house, constantly being irresponsible. Ever since this virus has taken over essentially the world, 
she has gone out more than she normally does she has done so many irresponsible things she has done everything in her power to show everyone it never was about the weight the self-entitled obese hyena that she is she is someone who would time and time again give people like myself content and use her name as an example of exactly what not to be. Chantel Marie will continue to be what she displayed in that video. Self-serving, self-entitled, unappreciative, and pathetic. For anyone else who may be leaving your home for essentials, please, please do your part in being respectful to the people out there who are putting their lives on the line for us. Whether it be the gas station attendant, whether it be a cashier, whether it be someone delivering food to you, such as your groceries. Please keep them in mind because those workers, those doctors, those nurses, those medical professionals, those are the people holding our country together right now, holding the world together. Please acknowledge them. Please try to be kind to them. Please go out of your way for them if you can. These people deserve so much more than what Chantel displayed in her live stream. And she's not the only one doing it because I see the complaints online every single day. Remember guys, be better today than you were yesterday and greater tomorrow than you will be today. Later.